Hi, this is James Herrera at the Center for Creative Leadership in Colorado Springs, and today we're going to go through a series of Dynaband exercises just to give you a demonstration of some of the things that you can do with a Dynaband. So the first exercise that we'll work with is a squat. So take your feet, place them on the band, shoulder width or just a hair wider. You're going to curl the band up to get into your start position, and then take it down and squat. And we're trying to keep the back relatively straight, get the thighs down as parallel to the ground as we can, feet staying flat on the floor. Next exercise is an overhead press. Again, you'll start in the same starting position as your squat, so feet shoulder width or slightly wider. You're going to curl the band up to get into your start position and press overhead. If you want to make this a little easier, take your stance in as narrow as you can, giving yourself a little more length from the ground to the handle, and press up. And if this is still too difficult to press your band overhead, this can be done as a single arm exercise, a little more length on the band, and up one at a time. Now we're going to work on a core twist, rotational exercise for the core abdominal muscles. We're going to anchor our band on something down low. A bed post is typically a good place to try and do this, or something that you may have in the fitness room of your home. So if you'll loop your band handle one through the other, then step away so that you create a good amount of resistance. Both hands on the handle, we're going to keep the arms straight and rotate just at the core so that we feel this exercise all through these muscles in here. This is a great exercise for core stability. A tennis swing or a golf swing is also made a little bit more powerful. And when you finished one side, Switch your stance. And now we'll work on a bent over row. You want to step on your band the relatively short distance from your foot to the handle. Take a step back, and just like you'd be rowing on a dumbbell on a bench, you're going to pull up the handle up into your armpit. Pointing that elbow to the sky. And then you'd switch to the opposite side. A slight variation on this exercise, give you a little bit of oblique work, is to step on the band with the opposite foot and row and twist. Okay, this next exercise is a band resisted lunge. So you're going to take your band and step on it with that front foot in a lunging position. You're going to curl up, and our starting position here will be the handles right by the shoulders. Your front foot is going to remain stationary, and you're only going to work one side at a time. So I'm going to drop my right knee down into my lunge. And we're trying to get that front thigh parallel to the ground with that back knee close to the ground but not quite touching. And back is straight. Okay, this is an upright row. We're going to step on that band with our feet together. Bring the handles in, palms facing you. We're going to pull up on the band, right up under the chin, elbows flaring out as we get to that top position. working on your back and shoulders. Now we'll do a little bit of shoulder work. We're going to do a front and lateral raise. You're going to step on that band at about the center point, and we're going to start off with that front raise. We're going to take it straight up so that it finishes about 10 degrees higher than the parallel position from the ground. 
from the same starting position, we'd also do the lateral raise. Again, take it out to your side. Same finishing position, about 10 degrees over the parallel with the ground. All right, go ahead and anchor your band either on that bed post or something a little higher. We're gonna work on the triceps. So step back to create some resistance with the band. Get your feet together. You know, squat down a bit. Pull those elbows into your sides and we're just gonna hinge at the elbow, isolating that tricep muscle. All right, now take your strong foot back, you know, squat down, and this is gonna be more of a full body exercise for the triceps, the shoulders, and we're gonna engage the core. So we're gonna pull back and hinge down at the waist, Okay, so that concludes our exercises for today. We want to do a series of two to three sets of each exercise in that same order that we just did for 10 to 15 repetitions.